All right, hey y'all, Hate Street Voice here, and I am very excited to introduce you to a place I've only recently come to know, which is called the Sword and the Rose, and I'm going to bring you in. It's right here in outer Haight-Ashbury, other, otherwise known as Coal Valley, but here we go. And we are gonna meet Crystal and Nick. Wow. Hi, guys. Hello. I feel like we're on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood on acid. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Sword and Rose. And can Indeed. you guys tell me, well, first of all, what is this place? It is a eclectic, multi-traditional, metaphysical yeah. supply shop. Indeed. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it caters to many different belief systems. Okay, so it's not just like an occult place, but it's also, it's a no. healing place. It's oh, a, yeah. yes. we, just, we just asked that no one film the main altar here. Okay. But anything, okay. anything else, the courtyard or anything okay. else. All right, I just it's sort of want people to else. see, get yeah. the gist of this beautiful joint. Yeah. And how long has this place been here? This has been here since December 13th of 1985 at 11 a.m. <laughs> yeah, we've been here for a while. And we have everything metaphysical. Okay. But we're mostly known for our incenses, oils, and ritual baths that are made here in the shaman ceremony. They're all very powerful. We're world-renowned for that. We're actually on some special European charter when you come to not just San Francisco, but to the United States that you need to go to San Francisco to the Southern Rose. And Randy David founded the shop. His picture's on the altar right there. Yeah, I see him. He founded the shop with his husband, Patrick. Patrick Ferry. And, uh, and he created all of the incenses, oils, and ritual baths that we sell. And okay. we are carrying on his traditions. And even though he's on the other side, he's still running the shop through us. Oh, yeah. wow. So that's beautiful. I mean, he's amazing. And he was an amazing music musician as well. And he had a band called Farasha. It was like metaphysical folk music. Wow. Yeah. And you guys are good friends with Jim Siegel because this is the merchant section of the magazine. We yes. like to bur we like oh, to we love spot distractions. We love to stray. <laughs> Woo, Jimmy, we love you. I first met Jim in 1985 when I moved here from Cleveland. I'd been here less than a year and uh, we had a wild adventure in time and then I re hooked up with him in the late 90s and went, "Oh my god, it's you." And he goes, "It's you." And, and then he's uh I think I met him when I was doing, uh, I used to be a lighting director at a club on Haight Street called the I-B. I remember that. And I think that's when I met him. And he used to bartend there. Yes. Yes, he did. Yes, yes, yes. he did. And I worked as a assistant manager, coat check, and security. Oh, my God. I met you a million times. I yes. lost my coat in that joint. And Susie and in... the Banshees, the yes. replacements. Uh, who yeah, else? So yes. Adam Ants. I mean, there were so many. Yes. Oof. What a... Also worked at the night break that was yep. across the street, yep. another little club. Yeah. So, um, as far as this being a merchant's, uh, you know, yes. spotlight, I'd like to say that, you know, this is the first one off the beaten track of Hate Street proper. And I want to point out that a lot of people, I think, don't know that, that this cool valley, they call it now, but this really was the hate, considered the oh, hate back yes, in the day. I still consider oh, yeah. The free store was oh, over yeah. here, right oh. over here on coal. Yeah, that's right. right. That's right. Right? Yes, indeed. Peter Coyote's joint with the diggers, right? Yes. So, yes. kind of want people to be hip to the fact that, because because we call it, people call it coal valley now, it's still considered the hate. Yes, it is. It is. It absolutely it is. is. I still think of it that way. It's important. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, big time. And so I guess I should say, what would you guys like to say to the hate vo hate, hate community? It's hyper-local with a global perspective. So it's saying hello to the hate community itself, and it's all, as well as communities all over the world. What would you like to say? We can overcome anything with the power of love. Yes. And the ascension that we're all experiencing right now, our planet cannot be stopped. Mm -hmm. And for people to follow their own hearts and go out into nature more and breathe and... Um, Question stuff, follow the money, and again, um, follow your own heart. Let's question the money and follow, what question, what did you say? Question where the money trails are going. Got you. But follow your own heart. Got and you. I can't stress enough going into nature, being by water, feeling your feet on the ground, breathing, and hug a tree. Yeah, and also... <laughs> full moon tonight in Cancer, by the Thank way. Thank you, yes. on full moon Friday in yes. Cancer. And Sorry the, to interrupt. Uh, in the uh, uh, Feast of Epiphany of uh, the three Zoroastrians who were probably really more like metaphysical magician king types who followed 
we wonder if it was actually a star or a spaceship because they say it hovered. So we're wondering, Stars but that, it's hover. that beast today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I should bring up that this is the, this edition, it's edition number 14 of the Hate Street Voice. And it's a, a sort of like a tip of the hat as uh, looking backwards, but also looking forward of the human being in 1967, which was January 14th. And the cover of this one is going to be, uh, it is going to be the tribe vibe because it was the gathering of the tribes and it's going to be the tribe vibe. Where are we in 2023? Well, one thing I wanted to mention is the original human being was the big catapult that kind of made the whole hippie movement go national because the Berkeley intellectuals finally linked up with the Hay Street uh, kind of more partying hippies and they formed a solid unison mm -hmm. And Allen Ginsberg was a great, uh, great moderator at that first show. And our mandolin player was three years old. He was on his dad's uh, shoulder. And there's a picture. We are going to get that picture of people <laughs> at, down the road. Um, and so would you, how would you answer the question, the tribe vibe, where are we in 2023 individually? I would say we need less fear and more love overall. I think that's the answer to just about everything. So you think the essence of the BN is still with us, though? It's still oh, absolutely. In there. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. And Galaxy Chamber tries to carry that energy through. Which is our band. Uh, yes, we've been around been. since the late 80s. Played the Hate Street for many times. Played within the hippie scene, the goth scene. We're actually considered gothadelic. <laughs> and, um, we played the what the 45th we played the 45th anniversary of, of monterey pop Mon huh? monterey pop I'm with sorry, uh yes. sop with camel oh, and yeah. big brother and the holding company and it was one of sam andrew's last <laughs> great shows and he hung out with us and partied and it was his birthday mm -hmm. and he passed away maybe a year later mm -hmm. but we love sam and, uh, speaking of passing away we should just say goodbye to alice who passed away oh. last night we, I we love alice alice rules and her daughter have been longtime fans of our band and the shop and I, I, she had her kitty is, cat on her chest oh with her man. which is a really oh, beautiful wow. thing though y'all right wow. i mean death's part of the deal i'm not yeah. con i'm not trying to enlighten it up but yeah. well you know we only change frequencies when we die and we're still around it's kind of like the old star trek episode where they're floating around <laughs> and you know they're still there yeah well, alice is in the room i'm yes. sure yes. Yes, well, thank is. you so much. And if you want to um, say anything more about your band, or I, I know I'll definitely put a link, y'all who are listening and oh, watching sure. this. Sure. Uh, we just wanted to say that Amoeba Records, a local, the largest independent uh, record store on uh, the West Coast, carries our CD at Hayton Stanion mm -hmm. and many other fine CDs yes. and uh, everything. And kudos to the Hate Street Fair. We hope it continues every year. Also, we love you, Michael. You can find us on Facebook as Galaxy Chamber. And you can find us on Instagram as Galaxy Chamber with two X's, all one word. Okay. And then we're also uh, on Bandcamp and SoundCloud. And we just awesome. introduced our SoundCloud uh, song today with um, our two songs, Nash Bridges Show, Ooh, if you remember, yeah, done. He used our song, Millennia Madness. Um, we're still getting royalties. And also our weird, trippy version of We Three Kings. Oh. And we put our SoundCloud up today with that. So. Okay. And and as far as this this beautiful little shop, is there? A, you just got to come here. It's not online or. It's, oh no no no! TheSwordAndRose.net is our online shop. Okay, people. Well, we the also, Sword and Rose. The yes. Sword and the Rose. The Sword, sword and Rose. rose. One the. Net. Okay. Dot yeah, net. Yeah, but the is important mm. because we have an imposter. Okay. And we also uh, have a Facebook and an Instagram uh, for Sword and Rose as well. Yes, we do. And okay. we're administrators of another group called Bay Area Musician Coalition. Oh, yeah, I know them. Which, uh, Fantastic. which really loves Hate Street Voice. And, yeah. and hey. Sky Church, which is a really... And Sky Church on Sky Instagram. Church, yeah, Sky yes. Church, we do free shows for the homeless, free dinners and shows, vegan dinners and shows for the homeless every you know we're doing it annually right now every three months i think the next Beautiful. show is the 17th the next one is going to be the i think it's the 18th, 18th. and it's in um <laughs> warm water cove park <laughs> it's going to be cold water cove yeah it should be called <laughs> cold water cove but it's by in hunter's point uh yeah, yeah. okay That's next and in closing just lots of love to you all and and Thank and for you. the human being you know uh gathering of the tribes the vibe is still here, isn't it? Oh, Absolutely. yes, it is. Yes, it and is. And we're going to keep it going. Yeah. And what's funny is you think it's disappearing, then it'll reemerge yeah. again. It's always here. Yeah. It's always here. All right. Lots of love, and thanks for hanging Thank out. Thank you. Yay. Yeah, all right. We have some free gifts for you. <gasps> well, that I got to turn off the camera. Y'all are going to have to find out. All right. Peace.